Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a HP laptop. This one is an old HP laptop. A uh, client brought it in and he wants to do a RAM upgrade. This officially comes on with a 4 gig RAM. They will give you the exact model for this one is a DV4-4266. This applies for any DV4 models and these ones, they do come in a DDR3 RAM, but they have a, another version with a DDR2. The DDR2 version, they only can go up to max 4 gig, but this one, it can go... It's something weird, I don't understand why, but on the website, when you go to the HP website, it will tell you maximum RAM can handle this laptop is an 8 gig, so that means two 4 gigs. That's kind of not true, because they do have an iCore 5, you know, processor, this is a second generation iCore 5, which is i5-2400 mobile. And if you check on the Intel website, they will tell you it can handle up to 32 gig of the RAM. And we do, we did have upgraded this laptop up to 32 gig RAM, but I will not recommend you because the 16 gig RAM dims for DDR3 are really expensive. So the best you can do, put two 8 gigs or two 4 gigs and that's more than enough in this case the client only wants to upgrade to 8 gigs so we're going to add another additional 4 gigs so we have a dual channel memory uh, activated again you can go up to 32 gig with no issue no matter what does the hp website tells you you can go because the processor and the motherboards are capable of handling 32 gigs first thing first you will need to get your ram this is a samsung DDR3L low voltage RAM and we need a screwdriver set we're gonna be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there we're gonna use a Philips number one these are S2 class S2 class steels that means they're really tough in steels so once we have the screwdriver with the RAM we're gonna power off the laptop we're gonna remove the battery by pulling this trigger to one side and remove the battery we're gonna remove this service cover right here by removing, loosening up this one screw. The screw has a C lock on them, that means it will not come out entirely. You just have to loosen it up. And then you wanna put your finger right beside it. And just, you have to yank this cover upward. So pretty much I'm putting my finger in there and pulling this cover up. Once you pull this side up, just move it out and pull it up. And then you have to pull it towards yourself to release this hinges there is the uh, ram on the bottom this is a 4 gig ddr3 and there's a one extra ram dim available right here to remove the ram it's really easy you just have to put your fingers on the triggers and pull them away from each other and the ram will come out in 45 degree angle all you need to do is grab it in 45 and pull it out in the same 45 degree angle all right this one is a ddr3 uh, doesn't have to be a low voltage, but low voltage is compatible with a normal one. There's no difference. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the RAM dim. So if you try to put it the other way around, it will not go through. Once it's matching, bring it in 45 degree all the way towards the pin. And then push it towards the motherboard. You should hear two triggers. The new RAM, bring it up. Put it in 45 degree angle all the way towards the dim. And towards the motherboard. And you should hear a soft clicks right in there. Now, before we put the cover on, we're gonna power on to make sure we get an screen uh, HP logo. But if you don't get an HP logo, we're gonna power off, we're gonna swipe the places. And that sometimes it works because not always the BIOS reads the RAM at the first. This is very normal on the laptop. So we're gonna plug it in. And we are gonna power it on and you're gonna tap on escape to go to the BIOS. And we do have a screen actually, so everything is fine, F10. And we have an eight gig, it says right over here, eight gig installed uh, RAM. You can easily go up to 32 gig with no problem. Or you can, the best you can do, do two eight gig, 16 gig is way better. But if you wanna be on a low budget, at least go with a four and four, and then power off. And this is how you upgrade your RAM for your laptop HP DV4-4266. 
4266. So I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do. Click that thumbs up button. If you want to support the channel, just click subscribe. And again, to grab the bottom cover, place this side down first and squeeze down the rest and then push it towards the laptop. As always, thanks for watching and I hope see you guys in my next videos. If you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can.